shopper for a movie, so I'm just going to be taking you along my first day as a film industry shopper. Hey you guys, I'm a shopper for movie sets today. Woo -woo. I have my breakfast smoothie with me here and I'm ready to go hit up like six different stores to find the items we're looking for. They sent me a list of the things I need to buy. And so I'm off to the first stores, which are the $2 stores to go get them. I don't know what show this is yet or basically anything. They just said yellow or blue king bed duvet cover, Tupperware, stuff like that. So here we go. Got the Tupperware from Dollarama. Now I need to get some gas because I'm almost out. Getting gas. I'm just waiting for the mall to open so I can pick up some gold decor and a shopping list notepad. And hopefully it'll be open in the next, what, like five or 10 minutes. But other than that, my only option is to wait. I really wish though that I was buying for my own house with somebody else's money because oh my goodness, there's so many cute things in the dollar stores right now and in HomeSense and I'm just like, oh, I want it all. You know though, being a shopper takes longer than I expected because even though I'm just running around finding things that other people told me to grab, it takes like a a lot of time to go from store to store. I always forget to add like the half hour it takes to drive from place to place all around. And then to wait in line is another, like I think that's almost as long as driving sometimes as if we added up how long I have to wait in line for. And then even just waiting for stores to open. Like I'm just sitting here for 10 minutes. People are literally lining up to go to movies. A lot of my day also includes being on my phone sending pictures to Gracie and just waiting for a response to see what she likes out of what I send. So sometimes I can be waiting a little while for a response, but yeah, that's also a big part of the day. my takeout I grab some triple O's and I'm just eating inside my messy car before I go to the thrift store and see what they have there at the thrift store I went to the thrift store and oh my goodness look at the good deal on these they used to be 29 now four dollars and then these $2 for Christmas ornaments, so I bought them. So I've been doing this for a couple hours now. It's like one o'clock and I started at eight and it's pretty fun. So I'm having a lot of fun so far, just shopping and buying things for the set. It's actually like a lot of fun, but I can see how it would get tiring or even like how it would make you not want to go shopping for yourself. Although maybe it would make you like a more efficient shopper because you've already been to all the stores so you know what store has what and where exactly it is. Because I feel like if I go to HomeSense again, I've already been there twice today. Or, you know, I've been there a bunch of times this week. So I'm just gonna be able to go in and say, yep, I want this, yep, I want this. And I'm gonna be like super like in, out, in, out. But yeah. thought just occurred to me while grabbing these is that they might not actually fit in my car but I'm just gonna say screw it and we're gonna do it anyways it took a lot of effort but we made it fit guess where I am Ikea and hope what I was getting was good. And
and luckily it was very well received and so then I charged my phone at Cameron's office because it's just down the road from Ikea and I just charged it enough to get the address of where I was supposed to go where the offices were for the film industry for the company I'm working for so I charged it enough to get that and just plug it into my GPS and then I went there and I was hoping to charge it at the office but I was really busy unloading my car and moving things in and then they had snacks there so I had some chips and yeah it was just like a crazy time there's paperwork for every show you do, so each new movie, so about every month you have to do the same paperwork again. I'm getting paid for less for this one, but it's gonna be a lot more shopping, which I think is more in my forte than carrying couches. I really enjoyed being a set deck, but I definitely think this will be an easier job for me. called A Time Capsule Romance. Overall, it was a really fun day. Some parts were kind of exhausting, like trying to load my car when it was so full. But overall, it was a really fun day and I'm excited to be doing this more often. I got reimbursed for the day, but in the future, they're going to be giving me a float. Right now, the float I think is $1,500, so that'll be good so that way I'm not using my own money because I'm just like so sketched out by being reimbursed because for the last show I did a Glenbrook Christmas they kept sending me out I probably did $400 of my own money in that and I haven't been reimbursed yet so be careful guys like if you're in the film industry and somebody asks you to buy stuff say not until you have your own money but I'm in the process of being reimbursed for this show and then they'll be giving me a float, which is so like, uh, so much better.